Smash Ultimate in 2022, hey, what a year. Let's look forward. And how about we look at somewhere that ain't here, here, and definitely not here. Let's go to a smaller scene, which took a while to break into the new post-quarantine era, but with four majors last year, the scene's starting to take shape again. I'm talking about Australia, of course. Coming from a year defined by who steps to Victoria, home state defenders pulling up, monsters coming from the caverns of Australian internet, and showing that yes, the scene may be smaller, but not that disconnected. With 2023's first Oz Major right around the corner in mid-January with the action, how about we go around the grounds and introduce all of Australia's scenes to look over their spearheads, their rising stars, and what to expect out of them this year. Strap in, we've got a fair few players to look over and some storylines to explore. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yo! GG's indeed. That was a good ass set. We'll start small and build out as we observe our first scene, who's the most isolated and usually carries the smallest traveling party at Majors. While a scene which won't host a Major due to its size and location, the two traveling members of the Northern Territory, Rav, a Pac-Man Joker co-main, and Sice, commentator and Fox main, will likely build on form in 2023. There were clear signs in their runs at Majors that if they just keep working, a little bit more, the NT fellas can break through to a top 64 berth and make their voices heard. Oh, oh my god, that back end looks so weak. Incineroar just like job with that in his hand. Another small scene located in the bottom right hand corner of Australia, we have Tasmania. While still small, it carries a slightly bigger travelling bunch than NT and also hosted a major last year. With Newt and Luma gone, Tasmania's strong top level has been depleted. However, Tasmania still has its handful of top players beginning to show some growth. Similar to the Northern Territory, there's not many travelling players, with Falco main Sanim and Bowser Jr. main Ripto pushing closer and closer to standout performances among other Tasmanian players continuing to grow. If we can see another major here this year, hopefully more interstate talent can come down to test the medal of the Tasmanian scene. Ah, oh, knockback there. Hits both of them. Oh, oh that's oh, that huge! That's it! That's oh. huge! We go across the ditch to see the country that's not Australia, but still part of Oz Smash. Good old New Zealand. While they haven't had large travelling parties, those that have travelled have let Australia know what's up. With the face of Sora and extreme hype man, Alistair BL. No fucking way! No! Across his three trips to majors, he's let Australia know that you have to know what Sora's doing, or you'll be run over, and he's just gonna get better. The other is Lucas Main Rensol who between being the doubles partner of Phantom when near Tono, as well as currently being on a trip to Japan, an insane level up is coming for the Lucas who could cause big problems again by being a character the Australian scene isn't familiar with. Despite not being a big travelling region, New Zealand had majors itself, and if Australians make the trek, the likes of Wellington Bowser main ICK may be waiting there to claim more major wins like he did over Australian inkling Andrew Lynn during Crush Counter Capital 2022. Other faces to watch for as we see New Zealand present itself more at majors are the likes of Zinger, Duoface, Glaceon, Smithereen, Twister 3, Rome, Aloof, Ichigo, and Tim Tam. Could 2023 be the year New Zealand really commands presence among Oceania? Ah! Oh, pop it in such an awkward spot! Pop what, it! What the hell pop just happened? One. What just <laughs> happened? Let's look at the pocket rocket of Australia, the ACT, the original home of Victorian number no. one Shrix, and the current residence of Japanese child prodigy Kanaji. The ACT has really carved itself out a niche, being a small but powerful region. Kanaji continued to show on a local, national, and global scale, why he isn't someone to be looked over. The Shulk Snake Comain had a stellar 2022, and when the action rolls around, a genuine opportunity presents itself for ACT's number one to join the ranks of Australians post-lockdown defending the house at Majors. But obviously a region isn't made up of just its strongest reps. It's the character specialists floating around this region which really threatened to take this region up a level in 2023. Belmont main Paul Barlow's continual trips around have shown how dangerous this region can be. The likes of Sora ZSS co main Maple Mage, Joker main Jay, Cloud Chic main Joey, Fox main Ants, and Samus main Kai Chimera are all demonstrating how ACT will continue to just grow and test Australia's best. With the action around the corner, there's definitely more talent lying in the wings ready to take down the best and brightest Australia. Australia has to offer. First stop of the year and this pocket rocket region has got the greatest opportunity it's had in three years to really put Australia on notice. Off stage again. Even game! Tournament life for both players. Oh, oh my god, it's in! 
He's got no job! That's it! That's it. takes it. it! Oh my god, oh WA my stays goodness. alive! A far quieter region post-lockdown with how isolated they were from everyone else through 2021 until the majors came back. And from the jump, it was clear. Western Australia is anything but quiet. Look at the crowd. Look at the fellas here. We did this. <laughs> we did this. A region quite full of unknown quantities with how little interstate exposure they've received post-quarantine. However, they've absolutely made their presence felt at the Oz Majors both on and off the sticks. There were three main spearheads leading this. Let's start with the content man himself, Pop at One, piloting Wolf and Game & Watch. A completely unique idea no one had ever considered was able to stamp his ticket into top 8 at BAM with one of the most unforgettable clips of all time. Dash attack! Damage off stage with a Sopo! Oh, back in! Oh, that's... Oh, no. that's true! Oh my god! Oh my oh, god! Jordan wins! Oh my god! Papa wins! What have we seen? While not competing as seriously as he was prior to BAM, Poppet laid the foundation for WA going forward. Next we present a Wi-Fi turned offline young prodigy who just kept building, Fried Rice. The Pikachu main had a lot of questions surrounding him going into 2022 and from a sturdy BAM performance against Victoria's Best into a Phantom run which left him just short of top 12 with an amazing set with Shmoo before finally the breakout. Fried took arguably the upset of the tournament over Shrix to book his first top 8 and get a full run to 4th before Shrix would stop him in the run back. This Pikachu has a clear future being one of Australia's best and this year should climb even higher. Finally, we look at the number 1, Luma. The Palu Brawler main is touching distance away from where he needs to be, being close to top 8s again and again. But with no performance you'd call bad or ridiculously poor, you'll expect it's only a matter of time before the doors of top 8 are broken through. But it's not just their stars, with the likes of William, Turnup, Kutz, Kaido Roy, and Teehee, all being standout players who can cause big problems in brackets. The question for WA is can their improving players convert these starts into big performances, or will it just be the stars punching up against Australia's best? Ah! No, oh, the block! No, oh, no, 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 he's done it! it. Oh my god! Goes to its big cheese! Oh for my the god! Time. Finally, we've reached the first of four regions to host a big major this year. South Australia may have chosen to operate in either massive or minuscule travelling parties when they went out of state, but when they showed up, you felt it. Let's start with their star player and someone who may have a claim to Australia's top spot. Rick Enthusiast, the brawler turned Steve man. Ever since the shortcoming at BAM, a change brought some insane results. A perma switch to Steve, and that was it. Following a 9th place finish at Phantom, the results would not drop again. Since Phantom, his results have been almost exclusively 1st and 2nd outside of a 4th place at Pixel Smash 148. The time period of 5 months also included big wins at Dreamhack Melbourne, South Australia's own major Big Cheese 3, and another big Victorian event at Couch Warriors Cross Up in November. As Brick Enthusiast collects these massive victories and records on Australia's best, the question that gets posed is can Australia work out the Steve or is Australia getting ready to crown a new best player? But let's transition to SA's other talents by first looking at its head TO, Taicho. The Greninja main may have been part of just two majors this year, but the 17th at BAM and 9th at Big Cheese, which included massive losers runs, showed he's got the drive to keep going no matter what, and going into this year, expect greater things. Outside of SA's top two, there's still a lot to like. Belmont main Moonlight at her two major outings showed signs of a character specialist full of potential, taking massive scalps over the likes of Sine Wave, Beat, and Bro One. Ken main Heaven this year will be looking to strive for more consistent runs, which emulate those of which we saw during his trips to Victoria this year. While he doesn't travel, Q showed strong signs at Big Cheese, and the man of many names, John Bombo demonstrated why you gotta know what Tink is doing if you don't want to get run over when your major bracket run is on the line. But who else shines from here? Looking further beyond, the likes of Bayo main Jamie, Fox main Con, Byleth main Naji, Samus main Fen, and Joker main Pinky will all look to establish themselves further as national level threats. For SA, 2023 will be about taking that next step as a region who doesn't just cause the upset to get heads moving, but also the consistent region which gets the best of the best concerned. Banana Peel gets caught! Hit, that Down tilt! Back here! Oh, it's, it's not, not it! it. Bomb's been taken out. Oh! Banana Peel. Oh, that's oh. it! Jackson does it! Jix does it! Pismus 3 has been claimed! Next, we have a state full of interesting choices in character picks. 
Queensland, host to 2022's final major and home to yet another major winner, Jix. The Diddy Kong Steve Komain was one who continued to improve across their four majors in 2022, and as it's likely that more majors come up, the question is where the ceiling is. Can they keep improving and begin to snag bigger wins or even major wins over Australia's best? The bastion of base game, it's Bro1, a man whose 2022 was a tale of two stories, consistency and a fighter against the cheaters. The Wi-Fi turned offline wolf main at majors had three thirteenths and a seventeenth to his name to really put on the table that he knows how to be consistent, but as he continues to fight the good fight, can he also improve a little more and push into those top eights he hungers for? A state of fighter pass 2 and spacies, and yet here we are talking about ice climbers. But Spamage has become someone not to be stepped over at a major. After being on the wrong side of top 8 at BAM to the hands of Pop at 1 and falling just short at Phantom, she pulled everything together at Pismas to bring home not just top 8, but a dream losers run all the way to 4th through team kills and some big scalps over Victorian Rob's Mod and Seb. Will she keep it going in 2023, or will icy shortcomings get the best of her? Queensland's talent runs deep though, from its new age stars of Dags, Baked Goods, Cruz, Lari, and Stacked, to its older stars who still know how to run with everyone else with the likes of Jaws, DFS, Sif01, and Sad Hour. But this year, more attention will be placed on a lot of Queensland's Wi-Fi turned offline up and comers with the likes of Palu Main Pram, Steve Main Tracker Base, Daisy Main Liddy, and Corrin Main from the North, Smazio, all starting to make their presence felt at Majors. As Queensland scuffles with New South Wales for that title of second best region, we'll see if this region can really break through and show their stuff in a big way. Yeah, oh beautiful. my god, this is the momentum! Oh my god, he's there! He's there! He's there! Oh! Heartbreaker! I respect the read, you had to look for it, but on Pheasant just clutches it out. Our second last stop today is the scene with arguably the biggest rebirth since the quarantine era, with a completely fresh top level and a mid level that's starting to look almost as hungry as the one state we haven't got to yet. Let's look at the guy who embodies the online to offline transition like no one else, Unfezen. The Mario main had a big year despite only one major. From the stellar losers run to ninth place at Phantom, to the amazing bag of weeklies and monthlies in Sydney, screams out to the online haters, deny the use of it all you want, it is breeding some monster players who are running Smash post quarantine. But can this all translate into a top 8 berth at a major, or maybe even a major win? Who knows? Another player lacking interstate exposure this year is Joker Byleth main, DMO. With just Phantom under his belt ending at 17th, there's definitely more to give this year if you have a look at his in-state form. We'll transition to someone with a lot of time at majors and just being unable to go that important step further, Shmoo. The Pikachu main has been quite dominant in-state outside of records against a couple players and when it comes to majors, he's right on the precipice of a top 8 berth, but it's just stopped by his own region or someone who's just a little more dominant. But rest assured, that will almost certainly be remedied this year. Another one who's been right near it, but just can't take that next step, is PT main Phoebe. Someone haunted by one very large boy, and some other fellas too. If Phoebe continues to work hard this year with either a secondary, or just general hard work, these demons can absolutely be overcome to push her over this tricky hurdle. Whether New South Wales lacks opportunities or just fails to fully grasp them, 2023 will be a bit of a redemption year for this state. However, some definitely knew how to grasp their chances as Snake Main Kanga, Croy Main Jodo, and DDD Terry Kazia Main Chipotle ensured their rare opportunities to stand out didn't go to waste. But this region isn't likely to sit down and wait, they're very hungry. The likes of their top and high level, like Luco, Coleman, Ryan, Sumi, and Twirly will all continue to fight and cement their spots at the top, but what everyone else needs to be concerned about is the scary mid-level which has made SBB and Epping Brackets pure chaos. DK main Morgone, Sephiroth main Mike Cool, Lucario main Chisel, and Kazia main Amro, just to name a few. Whether locally or nationally, these guys are coming for your seed, and goddamn will the crowd behind them let you know. It's time for New South Wales to step up if they want to show that they're second best for real. Is 2023 that time? Maybe. Just maybe. There's no way. There's no oh, way! Does catch him in the There's air. no way! Jay, Jay Dizzle. Dizzle takes Bam number 12, baby! Jay Dizzle is your BAM 12 champion! And finally, we've reached our last region, and the gold standard of Australia at that. Victoria. Top level being the true peaks of Australia itself, quick growing up and comers, and a mid-level so hungry they storm any major they enter. Let's kick it off with their new number one, Shrix. 
The Sephiroth Roy Komain, similar to his ACT counterpart, Kanaji, was strong both in and out of the country, with a back and forth rivalry with Brick Enthusiast that defined the second half of 2022, alongside a pristine resume nationally, which is now only missing a post-quarantine win to give him that push beyond Jay Dizzle and Brick Enthusiast. Speaking of the man, let's look at Jay Dizzle. Australia's number one has had a year full of ups and downs, but still a year you can call worthy of a contender to still be the best. Starting the year strong with wins at the interstate riddled Queensland Rambat and a historic loser's run to defend the turf at BAM, but with slight underperformances at Phantom. And during his EU trip, there was now an opening to really contest top spot in Australia again. Now following up a year with a lot of international travel, following the January trips to Japan and America, will Jay Dizzle come back ready to defend his top spot or will some of those around him finally claim the crown? Next we look at another international traveller who also saw solid home results. With Didi, the Kazuya Wario player had his early majors this year defined by strong losers runs which included being the highest placing Australian at Phantom and even managing to pinch a game from Neotono in Grands. I can't believe oh! with the best That's going to be a DD on the board! Australia alive right now! His trip to Korea would be a slight underperformance and the end of the year would follow the trend, but local performances with the cars here recently have definitely shown that he'll work hard again to be among the best. The other big play to highlight here from Victoria is Seb Pro 101. The Rob main had a year where he created big upsets like beating Jay Dizzle at BAM but couldn't piece it all together in the one run to get his win. Being touching distance away is frustrating but if he remains headstrong and really gets in the zone, there may not be a ceiling which will hold Seb back. Vic isn't just built on Smash 4 vets at the top. There's so much talent who definitely need to be watched out for this year. Can the new ultimate talent like Beat and Zab finally pull it together? Will Dura finally work out the character combination to get him to the top? Can Flo go that step further? And then there's the Wi-Fi turned offline prodigies. Will Scobo keep climbing? What about Zack? We Toxic Few, Wash, Persona, Easy Cole, Naru. Then the other threats coming through like L, Mast, Newt, P9, Corvid, do they hit their strides and push even higher to a big major performance? Victoria's overabundance of talent, ready to take their chance, really shows what a number one region looks like. But if the Smash 4 veterans begin to take a step back as Ultimate reaches its fifth year, can all the Victorians who are a step below the four vets rise to the occasion and ensure Victoria holds its reign over the rest of the country as the best. Australian Smash in 2023 feels like a well-anticipated sequel to a well-selling movie or book. It has all this build-up, all these players ready to take their next steps, and the question just becomes, who will be our faces across the regions and what new storylines will arise in 2023? There's not long to wait until we see all the regions descend on ACT with the action, and there's always more events around the corner to keep developing the story. I have simply given you a taste of what to expect You'll have to tune into our events to see what happens. I'll see you when the action occurs, ready to recap the big results, moments, and players who define it. But for now, see ya.